Hi everyone, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It's Lori, and I am here to do your next 30 days or the upcoming month. Okay, I'm a little bit late, but I hope you'll forgive me. I've been uh, well, I've been busy, I've been sick. <laughs> It's been a crazy couple of weeks, but things are really starting to settle in, and I appreciate each and every one of you for putting up with me. All right, let's go ahead and get the um, reading going here. All right, we're going to actually end this with some good advice for the month, okay? Okay. Let us go ahead and see what your overall energy for the month is. And this came out in the pre-shuffle. I was like, I hope that comes back out. The Two of Cups. This is awesome. So your energy is really good. You feel complete. You feel in alignment with yourself. However, I mean, also in addition to that, it looks like whatever relationships you have, they are beautiful at this time. In the upcoming month, everything is going to feel so harmonious, peaceful, loving, very, very simpatico, very eye-to-eye -eye seeing of things. Some of you have a brand new relationship. Others of you who have been in a relationship for a long time, platonic, meaning non-sexual relationship or a romantic relationship, you will be elevating, okay? So you will be reaching a whole new level within any relationship that you are in. It's like, this feels like um, Cupid's arrow is hitting everyone here, all of you, okay? This is really good. And Cupid doesn't have to give you the, the arrows of just romantic love. It's just love, okay? A great connection. This is a soulmate, soulmate energy card too. So there are definitely these relationships that you're involved in are going to feel like soulmate energy. Beautiful connections, finishing each other's sentences, laughing a lot more than usual, actually being able to relax, have some fun together, seeing things the same way. I mean, ah, oh, and it's, you know, what's really beautiful about this energy that's coming through is the elevation of so, like, if you always finished each other's sentences, now you may not even have to speak, okay? It's just like everything is elevated, more intense and a very happy, positive energy. You've got, I mean, two holy grails here that are in complete alignment. And what I'm seeing here, too, and hearing from Spirit is that you are ready to fill each other's cup because you are so, your cup of love is already full. Okay, so you're you're waiting to fill the other person's and you both have the same energy. Okay, now, again, this does not have to be romantic, but if it is and you are not with anybody, you're about to meet that soulmate. They are coming in for you. All right, let's see what blessings are coming in for you for the month. Oh, you're going to get wisdom, knowledge finding a new path to follow. Some of you may actually be traveling um, to study abroad. Huh, that was interesting. Thank you, Spirit. We have Virgo energy here. We have Cancer energy here. Um, some of you may be learning... This is all about education, okay? And it can be any type of education, but usually it's soul searching, okay? The awakening of the spiritual, spirituality, um, religious beliefs, following paths like that. So pilgrimages, going places like monasteries to study. But I'm also, I, I don't know why I keep hearing bonsai, bonsai. Okay, so like some of you may be learning um, master level skills in bonsai, okay, in the art of creating beautiful artwork from things that should grow big, but you maintain their size. 
but you each of you have a new path that you're following and you and the overall blessings that are coming in is an awareness and awakening and education and understanding a new path to follow i'm also seeing a setting sun here which is telling me that something may finally be being put to rest for you too so that's a really good blessing all right I am going to give you other blessing cards over here. I've got the tea leaf cards, okay? But right now, let's continue with this portion. And let us see what conflicts or difficulties or obstacles might arise. Oh, the Eight of Swords, you have to get out of your head. Spending too much time thinking, overthinking, which is typical Libra energy here. Um, no offense meant, it's typical, okay? It is, we all do it, but... I've heard from enough of you that you really do overdo the overthinking. Um, so, yeah, the, the thing that you may have to overcome is your own self, your own fear, your own um, inability to let things be, okay? Maybe that's what you're learning here. Maybe that's something that you will be um, outgrowing as you progress into your new path. All right, let's see what's happening in the Department of Romance for those that are specifically asking questions about romance. Whoa, we have the Emperor card here. This is Aries energy. Um, but what I'm hearing here is you're, some of you may have somebody going to come in here and just sweep you off your feet. This person may be very, very well to do. Um, wow. Wow. You just think that the sun sets on this person and you wouldn't be too far off the truth. This is a pretty incredible person. This is somebody who's mastered their own emotions, their life, their wealth. They're very, very stable. There's nothing cold about this particular emperor either. Sometimes um, emperors can be uh, authoritarian they can be cold aloof that's I don't get that from this at all in fact I'm getting a very nice energy from this golden light and I'm seeing all these white doves flying up from the city that this emperor is protecting so this is a very protective spirit here very capable person now it can be male or female does not matter it just means that they embody all of this beautiful energy here They may lead in their community, too. So they may be a deacon of their church or um, a community center. I don't know why I'm seeing a YMCA director. But that's one of those possibilities. But this person, whoever this is, they're definitely in control of their themselves. They have a very nice life. They're very happy. They're very content, okay? So they're not seeking out of desperation anything at all. They can have whatever they want. They could have any relationship that they want. There is going to be something very unique about you that is really going to um, capture their interest. And I'm, I'm getting something about it's your honesty, your ability to be fair, being open-minded, Having a sense of community, too. That's going to be big for this person. Caring for others, um, but not overgiving. This is not about overgiving of yourself. This is about being like a volunteer, um, working on a, a council. And that may be how you meet this person, too, is in that type of um, format. At a council, city council, town council meeting, community meeting, Something of that, a board meeting, something along that line. All right, let's see how your money's going to look. And before I go any further, I am not a financial advisor, or banker, or anything else. So any decisions you make concerning your job, money, or anything else is always your responsibility, okay? This is tarot, and all I can do is give you advice. All right. So it looks like um, there's going to be some really important financial decisions made that could possibly bring in some sort of, I'm hearing, um, I mean, I keep hearing the word bond, 
trust, loyalty. Okay, bond and trust makes sense if it's money. Loyalty. So maybe the maybe where you bank, maybe where you invest, maybe where you do things. There's going to be something good here for you. I mean, this is the palace of swords. This is as high as you can go. So this is telling me that there's a lot of intelligence being used to make your decisions concerning money this month. <clears throat> we, we're going to go into each of these a little bit deeper. And again, I'm not a doctor, so please, anything that comes out, take with you know, take it only if it resonates with you. And I am not responsible for any decisions that you make. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I have to say it. All right, so concerning your health, we have the Knight of Swords here. You're going to hear some good news. You are about to receive some news. Look at all the blue here, okay? And this Knight is facing backwards towards the past. So concerning something that you have dealt with for a while. If any of you have been having issues with memory, brain fog, um tiredness clarity okay like you're not feeling on top of your game you're about to hear something about that that may i mean the the knight of swords is kind of like the the knight in shining armor rushing in with a message okay the the person who goes rushing in with all the information um but there's also always a warning with this knight of swords because he rushes in, maybe he doesn't have all the facts yet. And because it is facing this palace of swords, which tells me there's a lot of intelligence, um, a lot of brain power needed here. Okay, so look at things carefully. Don't overstress anything, but make sure you're paying attention to the details. Make sure if somebody says, hey, I've got a miracle fix or cure for you, that you actually find out how many people were in that study, how effective it was, how long was that thing studied for, okay? Don't just jump in on the bandwagon. All right, so let's see what possible advice or focal point you might um, have to end the month well. We are going to clarify all of this, so stick with me. We have the Ace of Wands. Whoa, we have, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. You have the Ace of Wands, you have the Ten of Cups, and then you have the Tree of Life, okay? Just to get the Ten of Cups would have been awesome, especially after getting the Ace of Wands, a passionate new start, okay? Fiery, passionate, ignited, ready to take charge, ready to move on, a new way of seeing things, okay? A new way of doing things. To have that ace right there, and then the Ten of Cups is incredible. The Ten of Cups is happiness, joy, bliss, abundance. Look at all these holy grails. There's ten of them here, okay? There's unity, harmony, legacy, okay? So there's more than one person here, maybe even more than one generation, because you have the Tree of Life. So whatever happens in this month, it is root deep. Okay, this goes, this can go very, very deep as far as how long um, this legacy, this abundance, this happiness, this joy, this health, all of it can go. Okay, so keep in mind that if you are doing anything, you aren't doing it for instant gratification here. You are doing it for the long haul. If you keep that as your focus, and one of these pillars here is health, and I forget what the other one is. Why Why am I, why can I not remember this all of a sudden? Health and, I don't think it was wealth. Anyways, Spirit is saying that none of this is instant gratification. None of this, okay? This is things that have built over time. These are good relationships. Now they're going to improve to be better. You're not just going to decide to um, go overseas and study bonsai if you've never had an interest in plants or growing bonsai, okay? So this is all things that you have been working on manifesting through what you desire and what you don't want okay and spirit is helping to bring this in this is incredible this is i mean absolutely fantastic here 
All right, I want to get a different deck to clarify with. We are going to use, <clears throat> excuse me, I think we're going to use the uh, White Sage Tarot. For some reason, it just feels right. All right, Spirit's agreeing with me. So let's see what more we can find out about the Two of Cups here. Don't forget, this is your next 30 days, okay? Your upcoming month. Queen of Wands came out here. Fiery, passionate, unique. Okay, we've got the Emperor here. So that energy, um, creativity, taking charge, feeling good. Yeah, okay. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. Aries energy again. Um, fire energy, I'm sorry, with... Uh, Leo and Sagittarius, too. There's something about trusting the universe, trusting uh, divine powers, the divine timing, all of it. You've got the Wheel of Fortune is coming in here for you under the Hermit card. So, you are changing your destiny, okay? And again, the Wheel of Fortune can talk about travel because it is something that moves in the tarot. So you may, again, be traveling somewhere, which is going to be good for you. It is about destiny, moving forward, improving your life. Something good coming in here for you. In fact, something better coming in here for you. All right, let's check the Eight of Swords here. What more can we find out about the Eight of Swords here, please? This Queen of Wands is intriguing me. I'm hearing that we need another card or two with that. Let's go ahead and get a couple of cards for this Eight of Swords for sheer clarification, please. Two more shuffles. All right, so the first card that came out was the Two of Wands. Okay, that's why you're up in your head. This is what the obstacle is, is you have a decision that you have to make. However, make the decision because it will be to your benefit. You had the Two of Wands, now the Ten of Cups, clarifying the eight of swords okay so you have a decision to make and i love this card in this deck um because you have two wands that are crossing each other and then there's a, a green ribbon gently kind of floating around both energies here both wands and this is telling me no matter what decision you make it is going to be good for you and it, this green ribbon is saying, go, go for it. Get out there and give it a try. Do it, okay? Get outside your head. Take it outdoors. You've got pussy willow wands there. There's opportunities that you don't see. Blessings and benefits, okay? Ten of cups, incredible energy here. Let's see what the emperor energy. Okay, what more can we find out about this? Oh, this person's going to be mysterious. This may be a secret admirer, somebody who may keep an eye on you for a little while. I'm not saying that you're going to meet this person in the first day of the month, which is a little late already, or like the day you're reading this, hearing this reading. Um, this might be the very last day of the month. It's going to be different for each of you. So this person, you may encounter them and not realize that they are a secret admirer. Okay, let's see what else we get with this. Whoa! Do you see this? Do you see this? It's the Emperor from another deck clarifying the Emperor energy. And then you have the Chariot with that too. You are definitely, your life is going to be in a completely different direction after meeting this person. Oh my goodness. Mysterious. Secret admirer. Emperor status all the way through. And what I'm hearing here is that your energies match each other beautifully. I told you that there would be a soulmate coming in here for some of you. Here, if this is somebody you're already dealing with, your relationship is so simpatico that you are both in emperor status and you're going to elevate your relationship even higher and higher. Balance, harmony, golden. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm loving this for you. Absolutely love this. Oh my goodness. All right, let's look at the Palace of Swords here. This is concerning your money. All right, that's a bunch of cards. Oops, we're not taking those. They didn't turn over. We have the King of Cups. 
We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Six of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to lay this out a little different, actually. King of Cups, there is going to be a lot of emotional satisfaction here for you, okay? You will be emotionally satisfied, secure, wearing your crown perfectly straight. Who wears a, cr a crown? A king who lives in a palace. Money's going to be good for you, okay? Brand new start here. I'm also hearing... Um, there might be a little tenderness from a previous loss that's going to keep you wondering a little bit about moving forward. Spirit saying you've got a brand new start here. Passionate. Look, Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands. Go ahead and, you know, Spirit saying with this, this month, with your money, you're going to do okay. You're going to be good. Passionate new beginning. You have six of cups here. If you had any trials, any difficulties concerning money recently, you're moving away from that negative energy. If you used to have a lack mentality, oh, I don't have enough money to pay the bills. I don't have enough money to do what I want to do. I don't have, I don't have. You don't say those words because as soon as you think those things or you say those out there, with any type of intention, it comes true. You will never have those things that you're desiring because you're focusing in a, in the wrong way, okay? So you're moving away from that. So the lack of is ending and you are having a brand new start where things are coming in to you. And because of that, you've got the seven of pentacles. You are figuring out how to make this work for you, okay? So you're strategizing, you're planning, you're preparing you're looking at what has worked for you. What what can you do here? How can you do that? You're setting intentions. New intentions, new goals, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy here. All right, let's take a look at the health cards here. We have the Page of Wands and the Five of Wands. You are learning something that is going to take your focus, okay? This information that you learn is going to change your focus. How to do something, how it works, how it... Um, I'm hearing it's a combination of, of a couple of things coming together. So I'm getting a very holistic energy here. You might have a um, man-made medicine. You might have a holistic... Um, Things such as physical therapy or yoga or acupuncture, okay? Um, but you're still seeing your doctor. You've got a main theme here. Um, but it looks like whatever you learn, it changes your focus. And once you change your focus about your health from negative to feeling like you're going in the right direction, guess what happens? You go in the right direction. You start healing, okay? So that positive thinking... You can't have negative thoughts and heal. Keep that in mind. Things are coming together to, for you, working well. All right. I would like a couple more cards here with this Queen of Wands energy to find out what is happening here. This is unique, um, intuitive, charismatic, beautiful, beautiful energy, just overall energy. A lot of communication, back and forth, talking, action, a lot of interwoven energy here. Beautiful new um, beginning. Beautiful new beginning. Okay, anything else here with this Wheel of Fortune? What have we got with the Wheel of Fortune? We have the Eight of Cups. Again, I'm getting traveling, moving towards something better letting something go not crying over spilt milk just passing it just i said the sun would be setting on something okay that's what's happening here the sun is setting on one thing and you are walking into a new day all right so that's clarified too all right let us go ahead and get you some other obstacles and blessings here see what's going on let's start with the obstacles Let's see what obstacles you might be facing here. I mean, come on, two of wands, a choice to make, and either choice you make is going to be beautiful. It's going to lead to the ten of cups. Yeah, okay, that's not much of an obstacle. 
I can hear that you are worried about it affecting your long-term happiness, okay, and abundance. Hidden secrets might harm you. And broken wishbone. Some sort of grant wish, some sort of wish will not be granted. And what I'm hearing here is that you're about to have um, some sort of truth revealed to you. Hidden secrets can harm you. Um, whatever this truth is that's revealed to you, it keeps you from making a very big mistake. That obstacle, actually, if you get the truth, which I'm hearing you will get the truth, it's going to keep you from, see, there's a flag, okay? If you can see the red flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Okay, so this has to do with who you are. Okay, if you maintain your boundaries, do not cave, do not give in to somebody or something that may be tempting, or you're dying to know more information, like you keep pursuing it when you shouldn't be. If you're ignoring the red flags, okay, you are being denied something here for your own good, just so you know that it's for your own good. All right, let's see what the blessings are that are coming in for you. Whoa, you got a bunch, but I'm not taking all of those, okay? <laughs> Protected from negative energies um, beyond your control, okay? I told you, you're, be you're being denied this wish for a reason, okay? Because it's not good for you. It is not good for you. So you are being protected there. Horse. Some of you are traveling, okay? It's a short journey. That could be um, within yourself. It could be to a neighboring town. It could be to see a relative, whatever. You're traveling, okay? I do see travel for quite a few of you. Dog, close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Okay, so that short journey does have to do with you going to um, see a friend. And shield, you need to defend yourself, all right? So you have to stand up for your, your, you know, stand up for your boundaries, your limits, your principles. Do not cave. On the bottom of the deck, you have the key. Successful outcome to your problem, okay? So those are all blessings. Okay, money or property through an inheritance, winning, or a windfall. Whoa. And there's a crown here. I'm not, I'm not going to keep going. There are a lot of blessings coming in here for you. Remember all those cards fell out of here? All right. Let's see what months might be of importance to you. And then we will roll the zodiac die to see what signs you might be dealing with. If you're particularly looking for um, a romantic partner or a doctor under a certain sign, a holistic healer, a place to go, who knows. And we will finish with the number die for three yes or no answers. We got a lot of stuff to cover here. All right. Any months of great importance for the Libra Collective here concerning the next 30 days that they will need to know about. October and January. So sometime between October and January, those are going to be months of importance to you. I'm hearing the name Jan might be a person. Jack. Toby. Last name may be Barry, B-E-R-R-Y, or any, you know, take on that. Augie. I'll roll the die, but I'm hearing all these names and words right now. Okay, so there's your months that may be of importance for you. Let's roll the Zodiac die because I have forgotten to do that. All right, so you may be dealing with a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Leo, a Pisces, a Libra, whoop, whoop, or a Sagittarius, okay? Those might be just some of the signs you may be dealing with in your overall life. It could be romantic, non-romantic, Somebody you encounter briefly or long term. What am I looking for here? We are looking for romance angel cards here. For those in romantic relationships. What uh, information, messages would spirit 
like to give anybody concerned about a romantic relationship. Two more shuffles. We have romantic feelings. So there are new relationships beginning here. Okay. Can you see that? Yep. All right. Anything else? I do hear that there is our new romantic uh, soulmate relationships coming in for some of you. Past life relationship. I said some of this, something was going to go very deep, very deep into the past, very deep into the future. Okay. All right. So we're done with those. Let's see what the Kipper and the Gilded, um, or the Lenormand Gilded R R Reverie have to say about these this relate or this upcoming month. Okay, you do need to use caution around somebody. Okay, there is a main um, counterpart to you, main um, male, female doesn't matter. It's just the energy. It's a new romantic love. Okay, that's the Ace of Cups, by the way. Holy Grail. Okay, so this really is a soulmate energy coming in for you. Again, I'm getting that you're putting something to rest with this coffin card here. Sarcophagus, okay? Um, look, and we have the pyramids here. This would be the Nine of Pentacles. So you are gaining some sort of freedom, some sort of release. And it has to do with these blessings that are coming in here for you. All right. Okay, so watch out. Use caution with somebody, okay? Not to make you worry or anything else, but just something that Spirit wants to give you a heads up about. Never worry. Please don't be worrying. Don't stress. Anytime you feel stressful, just say, you know what? It'll work out the way it's supposed to. Nothing bad's going to happen to me because I've got a positive attitude. And then go on and believe that that's true and go do something fun or different or more positive than what you were doing. All right, just redirect your thoughts. Okay, what would you like to say, Spirit, about this upcoming month using the Kipper deck? Two more shuffles. We have a message and an official person. I'm telling you, this person that's coming in, the new person that's coming in, has some sort of official capacity, council member, somebody who's somebody within the community somehow. You will be receiving a message here. All right. So this is, I mean, this this could be a message from your person, from this new person, from your health, your money. You're going to receive some good news here. I'm also hearing with 22, you're in alignment Okay, you will be in the right place at the right time for you to meet this particular person. And sevens are all about wonderful things that are about to happen for it to you, for you. Okay, so that's beautiful too. All right. We've got the main male on the bottom of the deck again, which does not mean it's a man. It can be, it's just that energy of man, um, the main person for you. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Spirit wants to give you an enchanted map. Oracle message. We're going to roll the uh, letter die to see if we've got names of people, places that you might be traveling, thinking about doing, anything. Okay, whatever comes out with the alphabet die come, comes out. All right, enchanted map. These are like clues, things uh, helpful, helpful. I don't know why I can't come up with what I'm trying to say here. One more shuffle, please, Spirit. And I've got, it was not, it was upside down, okay? And I just went through all these cards. So this is in reverse, one ring circus, which normally is not my circus, not my clowns, not my monkeys, go away, okay? So if you had that going on, that's over and done with for you, okay? And that's card 15, 1 and 5 is 6, and 6s are about taking time to connect your spiritual truth, okay? Time to wake up to your spiritual truth. Slow and steady, number 12, which would be a 3. 
slow and steady. Okay, so we all know slow and steady wins the race, but remember the old close cliche that says that? Well, this is a time for easy movement, unhurried steps, and a steady heart, okay? Trust that taking life at a more leisurely pace will give you greater access to your dreams. You'll be happier. You'll be more relaxed, letting things go and trusting the universe to bring them to you. Slowing down allows more contact with the juicier elements of your life. Savor those moments because you are about to have an amazing, beautiful life here, a uh, month. I mean, your whole life could be beautiful too, but right now we're talking about your upcoming month. Let us go ahead and move into the letter die. Um, I will get you three yes or no answers at the end no we're gonna go ahead and do those now okay so if you don't know about this go check out the video that tells you about the zodiac die and the number die what it means all right so roll number one yes or no one through five is no six through twelve is yes that's a five and that's a no and i'm not getting a message from spirit i'm getting too many okay answer number two is a 12. That is a yes, yes, and a yes all the way. Okay, answer number three is a 10 with an 11 and a 12. So you might end up feeling like you're going backwards, but then all of a sudden you will put a burden down and you will just go right into yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that is number 10. That is a yes. Let's roll the uh, letter die here. Okay, we have Omar, Olivia, Oprah, O.P., uh, I'm sorry, when these names come out that I cannot pronou pronounce, I cannot pronunciate them, I'm sorry, um, P-O-Q-U-A-N, Poquan, po I don't think that's right, um, but take it as it is, Vivian, Somebody's a vixen. Howard. S wedding gown. Wedding gown. Um, Gowen. A name. All right. Another O. So we've got love. Lots and lots of love. You're compatible. Things are simpatico. Things are really balanced. Wonderful. Um, I'm getting a bunch of double letter initials for people's names ww nn hn hb vv like just the letters double letters these could be businesses these could be people's names take it if it resonates with you if it doesn't leave it be west virginia woven wyvern oh like a dragon Wyvern, like a dragon. Okay. Bjorn. Bjorn. Um, Poppy. Go-Go. Hopi. We've got um, a wild. I will re-roll that at the end. Rosie, Ray, Rox, Rex, Foxy. Dexter, Dog, Deb, Ref, Fry is in a name or frying food, I guess. All right. Xavier and Xander. Ingrid, Hijab, Hiccup. Gong, Gaff, G-A-F-F-E, Habit, Charlie, Chad, Jaden, Jag as in the military, um, Justice Advocate, I don't know, I can't remember what Jag stands for, or a Jaguar. 
another wild whoops okay um fagan gopher gomer like gomer pile <laughs> red and i'm hearing that like a name hey red um godfather Fab fabian poof like as in magic poof and queer okay newsy newsy um sly style stew invest waxy raw raven tv saint vincent senior I'm hearing Yvonne, but I'm also seeing a Z in the name Yvonne, which is very weird. If you know that, drop me a comment. I've never seen that like that before. And quiver, arrow quiver, but I'm seeing like somebody shaking too with excitement. Good, good excitement. Okay, so a quiver. All right, let's re-roll the two wilds. And we got another wild. Um, I'm not going to re-roll it, though. Uh, Doctor Who, Bovine, Beverly, Sue, Slim, Miles, Dems, Demo, Howard. Howard. I think we already got Howard once. Um, Chef, Chef Laurent. Chef Laurent. I don't know what that... Oh, like Saint Laurent. Or... I don't know. Okay. Free Freya. Frack. Saint Luke. Lucky. And May as a girl's name. M-A-E. May. All right, that's what I've got for you guys. Don't forget, thumbs up, tickle tap, or boop the like button for the message, for sheer, because you want to. For me, do it for me. I appreciate that. Um, claim this in the comments if you're excited about the upcoming month. This looks really good. Everything looks fantastic for you, especially this outcome. Look for messages, pay attention to the details, um, every relationship that you are dealing with in the upcoming month is going to be a beautiful relationship. Okay. And if spirit is giving me this message for you, if you encounter difficulty with somebody, it will end very quickly because you have found a way to just say, I'm not going to do this and take a step back. Okay. So even if they keep pushing, you're just going to take a step back and say, nope, I'm, I'm going to keep a positive energy towards this. We'll figure it out. We'll work it out. I'm not going to, you are not going to force your way and you're not going to let anyone else force their ideals or anything on you. Remember, stand your ground, protect yourself. All right. Um, check out the description box if you want more information about myself, personal readings, the channel, the cards I use, um, how to donate. I'm always willing to accept donations and I do appreciate each and every single one of you who has ever donated even one cent to my channel. That means the world to me. All of you have been awesome. I appreciate your you, your love, your support, okay? And if you are not a member of this awesome community, you might want to consider joining and subscribing because we, we do have a really strong community here. But you'll get these wonderful monthly readings. I do four readings, three, I'm sorry, three readings every single day. And they're all uplifting, okay? There's no drama. There's no BS. Yes, there's going to be things that happen. But, I mean, I'm not going to try to sucker you in and, you know, make you fear anything. We're going to find you answers and solutions. 
Just ask the community if you doubt me. Love you guys to pieces. Until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.